Hi, my name is Yuan and welcome to Prep Scholar TOEFL, the world's best TOEFL preparation course. At Prep Scholar, our experts have developed a completely new TOEFL preparation course, which we guarantee will increase your TOEFL score by 15 points or more. Our full course is available at toefl.prepscholar.com. If you have time, go check it out. The full Prep Scholar course includes detailed advice on getting a better score on the TOEFL, but today we're going to give you some tips on how to improve your speaking score on the TOEFL. Now, as you know, the speaking section of the TOEFL is all about, well, speaking. Now, a lot of our students worry that they won't get a good score because they don't sound like they speak perfect English. But don't worry about that. There is no such a thing as perfect English. So don't aim for perfect English. On the TOEFL, your goal should be to speak English confidently and fluently so you can be understood. Okay, so how do you speak English that way? Well, for many students, the most confusing part of speaking English is the vowels. So let's talk about the vowels. Now, as you might now know, there are five or six vowels in the English language. There are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y is considered a vowel too. That's not that many vowels, right? But there are actually lots of different vowel sounds in English. That's because each vowel can be pronounced in lots of different ways. Think about the letter E. Sometimes it's pronounced like a long E, like the word beat. And sometimes it's pronounced as a short E, like in the word um, bet. And sometimes E is not pronounced at all. It's a silent vowel, uh, like in the word um, bite. That's a lot of different sounds for just one letter. In fact, there are up to 20 different vowel sounds in spoken English. So it's not surprising that students worry about vowels a lot when it comes to learning English. But you don't have to worry. There is one vowel sound that is much more common than any other vowel sound in English. If you master this one sound, you will immediately improve your speech in English, and that will improve your TOEFL score. I promise. So what is the sound? Well, it's called the schwa sound. The what? The schwa sound. You might not have heard that name before, but you've definitely heard the sound many times before. So what does this sound sound like? Well, it's a soft, relaxed sound. The kind of sound someone might make uh, if they don't know what the answer to a question is. Like, uh, let's do that again. Uh, uh, the schwa, the uh, the schwa sound can be expressed by any vowel in English. It's the sound that's normally made by any vowel that is not expressed, not stressed or emphasized. For example, consider the word banana. In that word, both the first A and the last A are pronounced as a schwa, an a. Uh. Listen again, banana, a, uh, banana. How about this word? Con. Listen to the second O in that word. It's a schwa, too. Listen again. Con. Do you hear that a uh sound? Let's try one more. Elephant. In this word, the second and third vowels are both pronounced as a schwa. The second vowel is an E, and the third vowel is an A. But they both sound like this. Uh. Listen to this one more time. Elephant. Okay, great. Remember, the schwa sound is by far the most common vowel sound in English. So if you want to improve your English delivery quickly, practice your schwa. 
And if you're not sure about the sound of a vowel in the English, try pronouncing it as a schwa, an ah, like elephant. Here are three lessons we learned today. I just want to summarize it. First, don't worry about speaking perfect English. There's no such a thing as perfect English. Just relax, be confident, and try to speak well enough to be understood. If you do that, you can get a great score on the TOEFL speaking section. Second, vowels are a crucial part of speaking English, and the most common vowel sound in English is by far the schwa sound, which sounds like uh. So practice saying that schwa sound, and if you're not sure how to pronounce a vowel, try a schwa. Third, everybody needs help on the TOEFL. So try the world's best TOEFL preparation course, Prep Scholar TOEFL. Just visit toefl.prepscholar.com to find out more information. Go ahead, try it out now.